can protesters went to City Hall because of this Confederate monument you can see behind me tonight. It is covered in a tarp, but activists say this is not enough. They want it gone. <laughs> chanting and holding signs outside Jacksonville City Hall Tuesday. Yay! They're calling for Confederate monuments like this one at Springfield Park to be removed. It's not about the stone, the metal, the marble, the brass. It's about what they represent. But not everyone agrees. Look away, look away. Several counter protesters join them, waving American and Confederate flags. They tell me they do not want the city's history to be erased. That's Jacksonville's history. I mean, it was a Civil War town. And uh, so that is an important part of the history and heritage here. In June 2020, Mayor Lenny Curry said he would remove all Confederate monuments in the city. Members of Jacksonville's Northside Coalition say he has not kept his promises. Mayor Curry, we just want you to be a man of your word and keep your promise. The group then marched into City Hall, hoping to bring these concerns to the mayor in person. When you went up to the mayor's office, what were you told? We couldn't get there. The last time they locked the door to stop us from even talking to the secretary or the receptionist. This time around, they would not let us get on the elevator. The activists instead demonstrating in the atrium of the building, saying they will not stop until their voices are heard. The last time we checked with the city, they say there were no plans to remove this monument just yet. Reporting live in Springfield, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station.